boom boom this is Kenry welcome back to the channel how's everyone doing this morning all right so um, got Azure laying up on the board here I wanted to, to show you a little bit about the questing structure and how how things are run in the game so you want to try to complete these uh, on a daily basis if you go to the missions tab at the bottom um, these are the missions you got. We got got a numerous event missions. These are the associated with the New Year's event, which I'll explain a little bit about here. Um, these are your dailies right here. These are the ones that you want to do uh, every day, um, and they're, they're very simple. I mean, it's like you know, win one battle. Um, pretty much all your battles are going to be S ratings, so complete you know, uh, you know, an A rating or higher, which you just do an S. Three victories. You know, destroy total, you know, enemy ships. I mean, in one little battle inside of, of, of the, the third level there on four, you, 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 you know, on the average, you're going to destroy about, you know, you can, you have two fleets within each level. So that's, you know, there's 10 ships right there. Um, and uh, the, the flagship is the ship that's at the end of those. So, you know, if you run three, um, you're going to get that. Um, this to destroyed total 50 enemy ships. That also uh, includes the dailies, which you should do, um, which are your daily exercises, um, which uh, uh, involve uh, getting, you know, skill books and stuff. That, that, that sh the ship 50 ships counts within there. So you basically, to get to complete all the battle uh, portions of your dailies, you just need to run three levels. Do three, you know, like go to three, four, run it three times. There's you go, uh, you know, and do your, you know, and you're going to get all of these. So there's nothing in here that requires you to spend a large amount of time. Uh, the reason it takes a little bit longer than most is because there's a lot of dailies. You have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there's like twenty. <laughs> there's like twenty of them. So you know, you don't have to complete every single one of them. But, you know, you complete them, you know, you get, you get, these are your cubes right here. The cubes, these are, these cubes right here are what you use to build, you know, do your build ships. You get a bunch of oil, you know, well, not a bunch, but it, it just, it, it accumulates. So, and you get quick finishers. These allows you, ships, when you build a ship, it takes, it can take an hour and a half, two hours, um, some, sometimes three hours, four hours. You can use these quick finishers and finish them instantly. Okay. And then you get, um, these little medallions here are uh, awards, and you can use those for ex exchange on ships. And you get merit points, uh, um, which is this this what you normally get, for, you know, from PvP. And you get some food for your dorm, which I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. But so you just want to try to, you know, you want to do as many as you can. And, and seriously, it there's a lot of them, but it, it doesn't really take long. Um, you know, it, so you want to try to focus on those. Um, so, and the events are associated, uh, these, all these agreements, these are associated with the New Year's event. So those are the dailies. Um, these, uh, below them, uh, are the weeklies. Now, as you complete your dailies, you complete the weeklies. See, so, uh, I've already done this, so this will be completed, you know, I'll complete these two today. And as you can see, uh, I normally, my weeklies are normally completed by, f by Saturday. Um, normally on Saturday, I've completed all of them. Um, even though you have Sunday to help out with the weeklies, but yeah. So again, and you want to do these because you get, you know, you get, you get, you get some oil, um, and you know, you get um, uh, some very, you know, valuable artifacts, uh, or not artifacts, but uh, valuable uh, uh, tokens and stuff for your, for your, for your dorm and stuff. So you know, you just want to complete as much of this as you can on a daily basis. Uh, you know, it looks to be it is take it takes me probably about an hour. Um, maybe hour and a half max to complete all of these. So it, once you get it down to a science, it doesn't take that long. Um, and then uh, side quests, these are the quests. Um, these are these are just like regular level quests. This, you know, complete, you complete the hard mode stage on six, you know, get three stars on it and you get, you get these blueprints, which are very valuable and retrofitting your ships and then more like that. So, um, so these are very good. Um, I logged on today, and um, I was actually awarded, because of a New Year's blessing, I actually got my hand on a ship, which I've been trying to get for a long time. Um, it's Belfast. She's, she's from HMS. She's one of, one of the best ships for the PvP, in Beach, and they just gave it to us today. Uh, I got it on, uh, so I'm very happy about that, because you can only get this ship by building. This is one of the uh, handful of ships that you can only get when you build it, so you just have to wait for a time when it comes when she's on the banner 
and then you bit you know you build and, and get her that way but um i have i have not had a banner for her recently uh, since i started playing so i was able to get her and i was trying to look for the pvp build up my pvp team and uh, I was decided that uh, based on what I had at the time, that it would be best for me to, to make it HMS Belfast because I've got Queen Elizabeth. Uh, she's uh, fully limit broke. Hood's fully limit broke. Um, War Spite is fully limit broke, and I'll be getting ready to retrofit her. I got the sword that's needed in a special event that happened. I think it was a month ago. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and retrofit her. Uh, and Belfast was one of the one of the kinks that I wanted uh, um, in terms of. Uh, in terms of the front line, so I was hoping to get my hands on her, but she was a build-only ship, so uh, you know, I hadn't had a banner for her, but I just logged on this morning, and bam, there she was. <laughs> she popped right up when I did it. Uh, New Year's blessing. I got a little bit of oil, and uh, they gave me Belfast. So I'm very happy about that. Um, that's very nice of them to to give that. That's from the New Year's blessing um, that's going on right here. That's the New Year's. This is the New Year's event that's going on right now. So basically, you just, you know, you go into your shrine and you make a bid. Uh, you, you do a blessing. Um, and you can choose blessing. And each of the blessings offer a different, you, you know. So this this blessing right here is, a, this while sorted in campaign mode, you work, you, your ship's still slightly more damaged. And it's for 24 hours. Um, you know, different different effects for it. But, you know, so it lasts for a day. Um the draw is the, um, I already finished this out, this, this, this ran for seven days and it runs until the 8th, so uh, you might want to get in there. You probably won't have enough time to finish it, but each time you do it, you get a ticket and the prize was, maximum prize was getting Signet Skin, which I did get. Um, uh, this is continuing on. This goes until the 15th. Um, this is your chance to get Habiki. I got Habiki. Um, I got her. You get her at... Oh, where's she at there? You get her right here at phase 23, so you don't have to go all the way to the end. But if you keep going, you keep getting more Habiki. So the next time, uh, and you get this by playing the event screen, and you get another Habiki. So you get several Habikis, enough to have, enough to uh, uh, pretty much almost fully limit break her. So, and, and you, uh, so, you know, definitely something that you want to go for. This uh, is obtained here each time you do a blessing. This goes on for seven days. Um, you want to make sure you're focusing on that if you're playing. And this is what I got, uh, sir. So this is starting from 1-3 to 3 and It's going to be uh, a blessing, best wishes. Um, uh, day one um, is Belfast. And got 20 wisdom cubes, 1,500, and some finishers. Um, day two, you're going to get all this. Um, day three, you get some ships and you get some uh, trading books. And then you get a... Now this, this is... Remember I showed those yesterday. These are used to limit break SR ships. So you're going to get some, some limit break items as well. Uh, so you definitely want to participate and log it on for, for these four days. So that's a pretty nice little um, thing that they got here. And I'm happy they gave us Belfast. So uh, that's nice. Uh, donning ceremony. This is this is which this is the um, this this event started back back in the middle of December. You needed to get Akatsuki, Shigeru, Shukaku, and Otago. Those four ships. I only had Shukaku. <laughs> Fortunately, Akatsuki and Shigeru can be gotten uh, pretty easily. Shigeru is farmable. Akatsuki, you just have to do. Um, you can get her in the. Uh, in one of the um, shops, because she is a shopkeeper. Uh, Otago, I was unable to get. Uh, fortunately, I managed to pull her um, uh, in one of the uh, uh, special events when I was doing uh, daily, when you create your ships, I managed to get her, so that was good. So so that's how you run this, basically, here. That's, that, that's, that's, it's under the mission tab, and that's your daily. Now, these... Uh, show you the operation now this is the operation that's currently going on this is the this is the new year's event that's going on right now now basically what you're trying to do in this is you're trying to get the um the jintama here these jintama magatama i'm sorry um uh items can then be used in the exchange shop and here you can get noshiro kinu you can get some gold boxes you can get a super rare cat box 
you can get some oil you can buy some some colas and stuff so that, that's where the so as you farm those levels um you get th the magatama but if you farm those levels see if you farm those levels with akatsuki sugar shikaku you will gain an increased exp from sorties okay so you get you know and then if you use these designated mission ships and above to complete the special missions and collect the training points. So if you use these, th you get more of the, the Magatama each time you do it. Okay. And you get, you get uh, these training points and the, the, so you get basically the sons of the 15th, you get this ceremonial Sakura portrait frame. So I assume that my assumption is that uh, you'll get, uh, you, all your Sakura ships will get the ceremonial Portrait frame, uh, so that'll be nice. Okay, so that's what I'm assuming you get. Uh, but you got to get three thousand to get that. So three thousand points. So if you look in the missions, you know you get the Magatom, But the, right here is these points, and so you've got a fully limit break Kino, Hibiki, Kasumi, Yuhu, Yosha. So I've got all the ships right now except for Saruga. I have unable to get Saruga, but I've got all the other ships. I've already completed several of these. I've got to do B3 10 times with Chica uh, with Otago in the fleet. Uh, I've got her now, and I'm in the process of leveling her up. Um, like I said, I just got her recently, so I was, uh, you know, so I, I have to build her up so she, she can survive. She's not allowed to die, uh, and you do it. And I got Otago right here. She's currently at level 34, so usually get her around 50. I can probably, she'll probably survive in most of these. And I can see I'm working on Noshiro, Yohu. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, t to do the final limit break, you need to get them to 70. Okay, so I need to get them to 70. Um, I, I'm, you know, you don't have to focus on skilling them up to, you know, very much in terms of that because you want to use Shukaku, Akatsuki, and Shigure and Otago in the battles because you get more Magatama. Um, so you want to use them to get more of the Magatama for, for the exchange shop. These just need to be limit broke, okay? It's not necessary to use them in battle. It's just, but you want to use them in battle if you can. That's one way to level them up. But you got to get them to level 70 so they can be limit broke. Um, and then once you limit break them, you'll get the points and hopefully get the ceremonial frame. So it's gotten to the 15th. So, you know, I've got, I got some days. So, you know, every day I try to focus on it and I try to knock out as much as I can. So that's, that's what that. Now let's look at what you need to do. When you first start the game, you want to do your dailies, but the, you want, you're going to get some crisp, the, the, um, you want to get, you're going to get the um, gems, okay? Now you'll get some gems when you start the game. They give you gems free, and as you complete levels in the story mode, you'll get some gems as well too. Plus every now and then they just have a giveaways of gems or so give you 50 gems or something okay you don't get a lot of these gems okay so you need to spend them wisely the first place that you want to spend them on is the dorm okay the dorm is where you put you put um you can put ships in there i think they give you three slots to begin with i believe um, and you put ships in here and they automatically gain um exp over time Okay, and they do that, as you can see, all my little cuties are in the dorm here. Um, you know, I've got several decorations in here. Happiness is 124. You want to get the happiness so that it's a green smiley face, and you can pet them on the head, and they'll, they'd be happy about that. i got a little bath in here for them. It's a little pool, and it's Christmas, so i got a Christmas tree. i got a couple beds, um, and i got a couch, and I had, you know, broken. This was a Halloween thing that they came out so I wanted to give them a little Halloween feel and I got a little Halloween rug here got some pictures on the wall and stuff um, but you want to do this so this is what you want to do okay so it starts out with three okay so you you want you, you immediately want to upgrade the dorm so that you can get the five slots and then the second thing you want to do is you want to um, expand it I have maximum expansion right now you have to expand it twice um see to spend 500 gems to get my second floor okay you can spend i think it's i think it's 100 gems to actually make it wider it makes it bigger because when you start out it's only like like this and it, as you make it bigger it grows and grows and grows you'll see a little a construction cone out here in the corner that disappears when you've maxed it out so i've maxed out the size of the first floor 
now I can build a second floor. And what you want to do is you go into the shop and they've got all kinds of, of uh, you know, um, gifts and gives aways, as you can see. Um, you get these, the dorm tokens. You get these dorm tokens here um, uh, from, from just doing daily things. Okay? So you want to make sure that you, um, you want to make sure that you uh, get the dorm, get as many dorm tokens as you can, and you do that daily. Uh, this is how you how you how you you know um, set up your dorm. Uh, you've got all kinds of items. I've got a lot of stuff here, but unfortunately, um, you know none of it. You know I don't have enough room for it all yet because I don't have my second floor. But uh, I'm going to put all these ship models that I've got up on my second floor um, to start off with. Um, and in, in, as each one of these, each one of these items gives you happiness. Okay, so as you purchase the items, um, you get happiness, and you can see, you can see if you look right here, see it gives you comfort four. This is the comfort. That's the comfort level up there in the corner. Comfort one, comfort, comfort, comfort. You, so you, you can just buy these little things, and you can get these tokens fairly easy. Um, you, you know, you get them for completing levels. Um, some of the uh, some of the missions that you can do um, in the day that you can get them, and you know, so it, you, you'll get them. Not a whole bunch of them really fast, but you do get them during the day. Um, So let's see here. See if we can. There you go, right there. So if you restock your dorm and your dorm one time, you get 15. So I go into my dorm and I give food. So uh, I'm going to use this special soup right here because I'll show you what that does. Okay, so as you can see over here in the side now, I have I get extra experience for three hours because of the um, XP bonus of ten percent there and five percent there, and I get those for that. So so they're going to earn experience points faster. So that's why I have um, all of the ships that I need to limit break in the dorm here. If you look and see at my at my. Um, all these are ships that you need to limit break. You, Honoshiro, Kino, Kasimi, and Itago, except for Sugu. I'll take I'll take Itago out once I get Sugu and Sugu in her if I manage to get her before um, the thing. But so, so so they're leveling up even when I'm not online, because even after these two items on the side here run out, they're still going to continue to get experience points. Okay, so they're in there, so they earn experience points over time, um, and that's what you want to do. So that's that's what you want to spend your gems on. Um, the other thing that you might you want to, you want to spend your gems on is increasing the size of your do, uh, depot, um, not the deep the dock, to give you more spaces for your ships. Because as you get more ships, you're going to run out of space. It's inevitable. So so we go here, and I completed the restock of the dorm, so I claim it, and now I just got my 15 decor tokens and some uh, some of the food. I um, also completed the weekly dorm supply. So now I get 60, I claim that, and I get some five of the candy canes and 60 decor tokens. So see, as long as you play the game, you're getting the stuff that you need to do to progress. So that's what you want to focus on. Okay, so that's how, so that's the dorm. That's where you want to spend your most, most of the time out. Now, if you go in here into the shops, okay, the merit shop is, this is what you get for paying PvP, you get merit, okay? Merit Shop, you can get South Dakota and Eldridge are two ships. That the only way you can get these ships, I think, is in here. I've already got South Dakota. Okay, so I picked up her. Core Shop is, Core is when you complete hard mode missions, you get cores. A few, not many. Okay, it takes a very long time to build up your cores. But here's your core. That's Akatsuki. That's one of the ships you need. So it, it takes quite a while to get core, unfortunately, but that's how you get Akatsuki, okay? Um, general shop is just where you use your coins. You can get nice little gear skins. Um, like when your missiles are shooting out, they'll be like little 
bananas or tomatoes or corn or whatever. You can get a gear for that, a skin for that if it's nice, you know. They offer it special. Uh, this one right here looks to be a, um, I've got 72, so I'm actually going to go ahead and purchase it. So let's see what it is. Uh, it contains all these skier, you know, skier lenses, of course. So as you, and then you just skin some of these things. And um, so, you know, your fighter pilots will look like little boars. Okay. So yeah, I was wanting to get one. So I purchased that. So I got the pork shell. So I can apply this to my artillery and they'll look like little pork shells. <laughs> so that's nice. So um, um, I went ahead, you know, purchased that. Um, just because I, I like to get, I've got some of the skins. I've had them when they were corn and everything, so it's pretty nice. Okay, so um, another of these missions that you complete is, um, and the missions here is, um, let me just show you here. Okay, claim victory um, is is actual in the levels. Daily challenges and victory, three victories and ex exercises. Those are under the battle tab. And if you look at the bottom here, you've got dailies. Now the dailies are, um, each day, I, th I think it's on Sunday, you get all of them. But some others are only open on one day, like the advanced mission is opening up here. Um, so it's a maritime attack. So um, I have pulled off all of my um, main fleet. So let's, I'll show you how you build a fleet here. So I'm obviously, since this is a level 50 quest, I'm obviously going to put in my best ships. So next best ship is War Spite. Mikasa's in there right now, but I'm going to put, I want to have some extra, um, extra fighters in there. So what you'll see is I've got, so I've got Enterprise, which as you can see, if you see down there by level 10, you see a little plane, that means they're an aircraft carrier. She's an aircraft carrier. She is a destroyer, so she shoots, she shells cannons. Um, um, C3, C23 is my most powerful um, ship. So these are all, these are all ships on the bottom here. And I'm, I'm going to put Fletcher in there. Okay, so this is this is pretty much um, Portland and Cleveland. Yeah, this is pretty much my strongest base fleet at the bottom. Right there. Okay, so that's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty strong fleet. So I'll put Fletcher in the center. Um, put Enterprise in the center. Okay. So I want to save that and then battle. It's cost 66 oil to run this. Now you get skill books and things. You want to make sure you do all of your all of these um, daily um, exercises. You want to make sure that you do these every day because you get skill books um, and whatnot from them. So this is one of the best ways that you can get your skill books. And the key is just to um, survive or destroy all the enemies first. So what you want to do here is you want, I'm doing, this is at level 50 seems to be the highest for this level, but it does a lot of damage. As you can see, I'm getting, you know, I'm t t sticking in some pretty good damage. Um, but, um, so you want to make sure that you have some pretty good ships in here. You can run it on lower levels. I'm running it on a max level. You can run it on level 35 and, and I think level 25. We'll take a look at, at, at what it goes. So, you know, just, you know, you want to work up to the top level. I'm, uh, I started running the top levels on all of them about um, a few weeks ago. I think it's like three or four weeks ago. So it only took me, you know, a month or uh, a couple of months to, to build up a fairly decent fleet. Now, one of the things that I have and the reason I use Unicorn, Unicorn is a very good character because each time Unicorn launches an airstrike, she heals the Vanguard. Okay, so the Vanguard is these three ships in the front right here. Okay, it, every time Unicorn is the top one there, the top air, uh, top carrier there. She, every time she launches a, a launches her ships, it automatically heals the Vanguard. So you've got a healing action there, which makes Unicorn a very very popular ship. And as you can see, you do get experience points for these. Okay, so yeah, it's got level 35, level 25, level 10, of course, to run it. So you just work your way up to the top one. Um, that's all you have to do. And Unicorn is level 90. She's right here. 
uh, up here in the corner. She each time that she each time she launches her her planes, it automatically gives a little healing to the Vanguard. So she's a very very nice ship, and she is farmable. I think she's on four four. Yes, Unicorn is on four four. So if you farm um, level four, the fourth. Uh, uh, level in there, you will have a chance uh, and end up getting her. Okay, and then and then this other there's tactical training. Um, the only difference in tactical training is uh, you can use the aviation. This one here you, says at bottom use aviation weapons to deal use aviation weapons to deal massive. So you want to make sure in this one that you have three car three carriers, and I'm going to put Shukaku in there. So now I have three aircraft carriers. And start that battle. So you see, so, and, and these are the dailies. So you want to make sure you do all the dailies that you have each day. And on Sunday, you want to try to carve out enough time so that you can do all of them, because you get books, you get blueprints, you get oil, you get gold. Um, so it's just very, you know, very rewarding to get them done. So if, you know, if you just focus on this, you know, those your daily completing all your daily missions. You get you get you know the the materials and stuff that you need to progress through the game, and as you make a stronger fleet, um, you know you you farm through you get you know, access to more ships, um, and then you want you know we'll talk about fleets in another video because that's a whole 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 other discussion about, it. but I'll show you I'll show you how to analyze the skill sets for each of them and how they combine, uh, so that you can create a cohesive team. Um, and uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll give you what I'm what I used at the beginning of the game, uh, and I'll give you what I'm using right now. And then I'm going to show you what I'm building to for in game. Um, I'm not at in game yet. Um, I'm upper part of mid game, I would say, is where I'm about roughly. So, but I'm getting there. I see got some co cognitive chips. If you want to break your 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 ships over 100 after you get to level 100, you need these cognitive chips to do that. So again. The stuff you need to make your ships max are in the game. See, this is not stuff that you have to buy. You play the game, you get this stuff. Okay, need that's that's why this game is so free. It, this is user friendly game. Okay, there are none. You know, the Destiny Child is comparable. Dan Memo to a degree is comparable. Uh, Dan Memo was done Machi Memorial Freeze. But those games are free to play and they're free to win. You can be competitive in these games if you just play them. You don't have to spend money. I do encourage you to spend a little bit of money on those games that you play to keep, you know, because the devs got to feed their families, you know. So buy a skin. They have some attractive skins. Buy a skin, you know. Buy, buy a thing where you get a little bit of extra gems. Maybe buy some gems so you can level up your, your, your dorm fast or something like that, you know. But, you know, it's, it's stuff that you don't need to do, but, you know, it's just, you know, it's just if you got, you know, if you got something, you can spend it, okay? Exercises, this is PvP, okay? So this right here is your mainstay for PvP, okay? Um, uh, I, this is a PvP team that I have. This, I, what I've been doing right now on my PvP, I'm in the process of building an HMS, um, uh, Her Majesty's Service, which is Britain's. Uh, HMS Navy Fleet. That's what I'm doing because it has this, one of the strongest fleets in the game. Um, it, co it compromises of in the center backyard where I've got a unicorn. You would put Queen Elizabeth. You would flank her with the hood, which I have maxed. Um, War Sprite, which is right where she's at right now. She's almost maxed. And then in the front, you can use, um, I, uh, you know, I'm going to put... Um, uh, you know, different ships in there. You know, you, you, you can look at the, you, know, you can substitute, you can put Belfast, um, you, Juno, my current one is I'm running Suffolk, Norfolk, and Juno, um, or not, uh, uh, not Juno, Javelin, as my, as my, as my basis team for that, that I'm creating. It's not up to power yet. Um, you see, I don't have a lot of time to level up those, the, the ships any, at the moment because the event's going on. Once the event's over, I'll start focusing on that. But um, like I say, this was this event for this year was a Sakura event. That was bad for me. <laughs> I did not have a lot of Sakura ships, and I was not focusing on Sakura ships. Um, I was focusing on USS and HMS ships, exactly the opposite of what this. So I'm having to focus a lot of time on the Sakura. 
so that immediately after I finish my dailies, I start working on my Sakura fleet, running the event, and getting things, you know, on that. So I haven't had time to really focus on my PvP team. So this is what I've been using. I just get a max level of all the best ships I've got. I put the best gear I got on them and stuck, you know, and I'm just sticking them in there. So this is not this is not a fleet that you want to use if you don't have to. This is just a fleet that I'm using to be competitive in in the mid to upper level PvP. Um, it is in no way, um, you know, it's going to beat anything within its level and anything slightly above its level because I've got some really powerful weapons on Z23. Um, some really overpowered weapons uh, on on her. So she's she's a veritable tank, and I've got her retrofitted too. Um, that's one of the special quests that you're going to want to do is retrofit her. And as you can see, I just blasted right through that Vanguard, and I'm now taking on their carrier, which is, of course, Enterprise. Uh, Enterprise is the best. It, it, I, I don't think there's really an argument. Enterprise is pretty much, as I consider, the best ship. Okay, let me – okay, there's ships you got to – She's the best ship in the game, okay, that you can get and use, okay. There are ships in the game called priory ships, and I'll show you those right now just so you understand what I'm meaning. Okay, so this is PvP. You want to complete as many of these as you can. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and run that. Let me, let me explain priory ships. Priory ships are specialty ships that are a little bit more powerful than the regular ships, but you have to, it's really an investment to actually build priority ships. I'll show you the screen briefly. Uh, I'm in the process of building the HMS Monarch um, right now as a priority ship. Um, and I'll have to do a whole video on primer, priority ships because, <laughs> again, it's something that, see, this game's got so much stuff in it that you can always find something to do. Um, you could... You could literally probably play this game five or six, maybe seven hours a day, okay? Just finding different stuff to do. And none of it's, extremely, you know, you just play the game. Okay, so prior, priory ships are under, the, um, are under the lab. If you look under the lab, you'll see shipyard, okay? If you type in shipyards. Now, these ships in here, I'm in the process of building HMS Monarch. She is, these ships right here are priory ships. They're a little bit, they're a little bit more powerful than the SR ships, okay? Um, because, but it takes a really lot to build them. Like right now, um, you have to, for instance, I'm building Monarch. I've got all of the other parts done, but to finish the build, I have to get 1 million experience points with HMS ships, Okay, so that's one of the reasons I'm building a HMS PvP fleet because it will help me far more experience because you get experience each time you win in PvP with your ships. Plus, I run my HMS fleet when I'm doing my regular farming. I farm with my HMS fleet, and I'm doing that specifically so I can get these experience points so I can get Monarch. Okay, Monarch is she's a she's one of the first she's one of the best of the priority ships. Okay. Now, this is in the priorities. They just came out with some new priorities called priorities, the, the, the second ones. Um, uh, I haven't clicked on that before, so these are the new priority ships. Um, Akashi is your little, she's, she, if you've watched the anime, she, she owns the store. Okay, and you got different priority. So these are the new priority ships. You've got the Seattle, you've got the Georgia, you've got the Kitakas, and you've got Zuma, and you've got FDG. FDG is like supposedly like super powerful, and then you've got Gascon. So um, I'm hearing that everybody wants to try to get Seattle because she's like super good for for farming. Um, it's probably because of uh, yeah, uh, aircraft shot down. You need 15 percent. You increase your ship's firepower. Yes, that's a good skill. Uh, and this increase anti-air gun efficiency. Yeah, and see, look, it's like a double skill. And place your Vanguard, decrease ship's damage. So her skills do multiple, have multiple effects. It makes her good. I bet I'm hearing Seattle's really, really good. Um, combat data collection. So you have to get Eagle Union, which is good, because that's my second fleet that I'm building up. So that's good. So those are priority ships, and that's under the, the lab tab. Um, Research Academy, you want to do those on a daily. Just do research. 
Um, I'll complete this one for today. Um, uh, just like, for instance, you know, details, you do this 1500 um, and you just commence it. And for 1500 coin, I got a bunch of coin at the moment. So the research started and it'll take and it'll run. Um, it's going to run for an hour and a half, but some it's four hours, six hours, depending on different ones. Okay. So that's, so, you know, so that's some of the things Now you can see, see, I've already got my 30 victories. Okay. Because I beat 30 ships, um, because in the daily that I just did, um, you know, PVP. Okay. So, uh, the PVP that you did, um, I've over the week. Okay, I've already completed it, and I get 300 merit for that. So um, I've already, you know, I claimed a victory once, as I did in the daily. I got a wisdom cube and some oil. Um, I did the, uh, the battles. I did S, they were S ranked. Okay, I already did the 50 ships. Okay, so, you know, that one's taken care of because, you know, combined with the dailies and the PvP, I beat 50 ships. So, you know, I did one daily challenge, so I got some gold, you know, and I, and I just, that in research I just saw me complete I did that and um, I complete the daily mission daily challenge five times so that's a weekly okay so get that and then the research project so as you can see you see you know it didn't you know I've already got you know there's still more to do but as you can see just by playing the game you get that okay let me show you one more thing here real quick and that's building ships okay you want you want to build. You got to do this as a daily mission. So I'm going to continue building on the event because, like I guess, sir, I need Saruga, which you see here up there. I don't have her, so I've been trying to get her. So I'm going to build three times. Okay. Now, as you can see, it says two hours, uh, two hours and nine minutes, two hours and ten minutes for that one. You can only see two, even though I'm building three. But up here in the center, you see quick finisher. Quick finishers allow you to finish them instantly. And you get these just by playing the game. So spend three quick finishers. Yes, I want to. And it's going to build the ships immediately. So I got, who did we get? We got um, a common, which is Hermes. Don't need Hermes. I already got her. So I'll just use her for fodder. Langley, I've already got her. I'll just use her for fodder and another Langley. So didn't get anything but. Now, missions. Yes, I just completed some missions. I built three ships. I get Magatama, which is good for the event. Okay, and I got 800 gold coin, another wisdom uh, cube, and a skill book because I built a ship. You only have to do one a day. I've been doing three because I need to get Saruga. But as you can see, just by playing the game, you're going to complete these missions. Okay, so that's it. So um, I'll have a second portion uh, on the daily missions. This is just the first one. I wanted to show you a little bit about that, and we'll do the, go over some more in the second um uh, video concerning the daily missions, but this is a lane free to play free to win. It's a great game. So this is Kinrear Put a favorite on it if you like the video Go ahead and click on the subscription button if you want to subscribe so that you'll get notified every time I drop a video It's Kinrear signing out